KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 25th of October. I'm James Spann. A wet night tonight. The rain tapers off early tomorrow, and most of the weekend should be dry. Let's check it out. There's the upper air look across the country this afternoon. Pretty good short wave west of the state, helping to generate a surface low that's on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And you can see Alabama just covered in clouds. And a lot of folks are getting wet. We'll check the radar. That's the way things looked early this afternoon. That was taking about 107. We'll maintain a good chance of rain at times tonight into early tomorrow morning. And it's pretty cool here for this time of the year. Keep in mind, we should be in the low 70s. The average high for today is 73. Most locations are in the 50s because of the clouds and rain. For example, Alexander City only at 54. That's a very chilly day for the month of October. Around the nation, I'd say it's seasonally cool. Coldest air across the northeastern states. But look at this, the watch warning map, nothing. No watches, no warnings. We can be thankful for that. We do note there's a marginal risk of severe storms on the immediate Gulf Coast through tonight, uh, south of the surface low. In Alabama, that uh, includes basically Mobile and Baldwin counties. And then tomorrow, we've got a, a risk of severe storms, a marginal risk on the South Atlantic coast in parts of North Florida. There is the standard slight risk on the coast of North Carolina. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The west relatively dry with the exception of the Pacific Northwest. The east with some rain, Alabama's rain amounts uh, one to one and a half inches for the north, less than one half inch for the southeast. And this is valid through Thursday morning of next week. And off in the tropics, a disturbance that is currently located in the middle of the Atlantic with an 80% chance of becoming a tropical storm. This gets the name Oscar. But no worries, because the strong trough on the east coast of the United States will be sweeping this one out to sea. So, model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 1. You can see deep troughing over the east. Down below that, a surface low is northeast of Alabama. The rain should taper off early in the day. But the clouds will linger, so kind of a cloudy, cool day. And again, highs probably low 60s. This is Saturday. There's going to be an upper trough around, and, and we might see a few little patches of light rain, a few isolated showers, but mostly dry, but still cool, low 60s, the sky cloudy at times. We note that uh, developing surface low near Baltimore. Go to Sunday. I think we'll be dry. There is a, a cold front coming down the pipe, but there's just not moisture to work with. I think Sunday we'll see a partly sunny sky. A comfortable day with low 70s. The front comes through Sunday night, and again, that might squeeze out a couple of showers, but Rain amounts, if any, very light, very spotty. And then Monday, a new surge of cool, dry air. Lows in the 40s, highs in the 60s. The sky will be sunny. Tuesday looking good, mostly sunny. The high close to 70. And Wednesday, Halloween. Got a cold front knocking on the door, but it looks like we should be dry through the evening hours. This run a little faster with that front. Uh, it's got us up in the mid-70s on Wednesday, and again, we'll probably have a batch of showers and maybe some thunder late Wednesday night or early Thursday morning. And this is a week from today, Thursday, the 1st of November. Uh, big trough over the central United States, and that front is beginning to push out. So it looks like Wednesday night, late, early Thursday morning will be the next chance of showers and storms. Check the numbers here. Over the next 15 days, generally speaking, highs in the 60s and lows mostly in the 40s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.